Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewit channel. So in this video, we will be dealing with Phlebotomus, that is the sand flies. So Phlebotomus is a genus of sand flies in the Diptera family. So the large family Psychodidae, which is having a subfamily Phlebotomini, contains a single genus of veterinary importance, that is the Phlebotomus, and also Lutzomia. In some areas of the world, the term sand flies include some biting midges and black flies. So they are actually the phlegotomin sand flies. So moving to the taxonomical details, they belong to the kingdom Animalia, Phylum Arthropoda, Class Insecta, Order Diptera, Suborder Nematocera, Family Psychodidae, Subfamily Phlebotomine, and the genus are Phlebotomus and Lutzobia. So moving to the morphology, they are small, hairy, brownish to yellow color with narrow body. Antennae has got 16 segments. Males are not blood suckers. Females are actually the blood suckers. And mouth parts are piercing and sucking type. Eyes are very large, dicoptic in both sex. So, this is the life cycle of a sandfly. Adult will be laying eggs. Eggs will be converted to, that is, eggs will molt, or eggs will hatch to larvae in star 1, larvae in star 2, larvae in star 3, larvae in star 4, and finally, larvae in star 4 will. Mold to pupa, pupa will become the adult. So the life cycle, eggs are actually white in color when laid and torpedo shaped and reticulated surface. So the larvae which is having four larval stages and they actually resemble like the caterpillar. Pupa is optactate pupa, very important. Adult flies are nocturnal. Duration of life cycle is actually 37 days. So moving to the pathogenesis. These flies inflict a painful bite causing irritation and blood loss which may lead to anemia and reduce weight gain. Apart from their biting nuisance in localized areas, phlebotomin sandflies are important as vectors of various pathogens because they act as vector for many diseases. The main disease is the leishmaniosis in human beings and the dogs which is caused by a protozoan that is leishmania species. It is commonly called as Kala Azar in India. So, dogs, cats, rodents and other wild animals act as the reservoir for infection. So, dogs affected with cutaneous leishmaniosis have a non-pruritic exfoliative dermatitis with alopecia and peripheral lymphadenopathy. So, vector potentiality. Phlebotomus sergenti transmits leishmania tropica, that is the causative agent for cutaneous leishmaniosis. And Phlebotomus argentipus transmits Leishmania donovani, that is the causative agent for Kala Azar. So sometimes they also act as the vector for some viral diseases, that is the sandfly fever and yellow fever. Sometimes they carry spirochetes and produce spiroketosis, that is the Bartonella bacilliformis. So the control is actually very difficult, but we can use the mosquito control measures, the removal of dense vegetation and using of other synthetic pyrethroids and synthetic insecticides. So this is the insect, sand flies, they have got a color of sand. So this is the sand fly stage, this is the human stage of leishmaniosis. See the amastigotes and promastigotes. So there is a code like promastigotes will be always present in the vector and Amastigotes will be in the animal, mammal, whatever. A for amastigot and A for animal. So this is the comparison of the size. So this is a Phlebotomus species. Yeah, they are very cute. See, this is, sorry for the clarity of the picture. This is the Culicoides, this is the Aedes mosquito and this is the Phlebotomus. This is the life cycle. This is Leishmaniasis life cycle. Sand fly stage and human stage. So, Leishmania is producing a cutaneous lesion and also visceral lesions. So, this is actually the visceral Leishmaniosis. Thank you, guys.